Alright, welcome to Majesty. This game was released back in 2000. It's available on both Steam and GOG, but uh, I've struggled a little bit with the Steam version, getting it to run properly, and uh, GOG has done a good job. Uh, worth noting, I am playing it on my 1080p monitor, and I don't really know how that's going to go since my recording is upscaled and downscaled compared to the actual resolution it's running at. But honestly, I don't feel like the graphics are major enough and great enough to really warrant messing with my OBS settings. So, we're just going to hop in. We're going to play a game. So, I don't know if it actually went live or not. I'm going to check it <laughs> after it finishes uploading. But I already did uh, Vengeance of the Lich Queen. And it took me over an hour. And, uh... Yeah, I did it, uh... <laughs> I did it foolishly, um... Without checking the video resolution. So, if it's, like, completely impossible to tell what's going on, this is the one that will go live instead. So we're just gonna do Forgive the tutorial the intrusion, mission. Highness, but we've been robbed! Someone has stolen the magic bell, the holy book, and the eternal candle! Right from under our noses, they were whisked away from the royal treasury by some scoundrel! We must do something to recover them! They are treasures beyond value! Yep, that's the voice acting. <laughs> so, our, uh, our mission is to recover the three items. This is the basic interface. Yep. So, you start off with a palace, and you start off with a variety of buildings based on the particular quest you're doing. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's literally the tutorial mission, so. What you can do is, these guard towers can be upgraded to fire arrows at anything threatening your little city. Inns are where adventurers, like these rogues, can stop by to get, uh, some rest, heal up Your a little Highness, bit, we and they generate, the house. Your Highness, and they generate revenue the for your house. kingdom, which, speaking of generating revenue, you should absolutely build a marketplace here. So each guardhouse has a, 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 a city guard that it generates. Once you get it upload, uh, upgraded to level 2, then the veteran guards can be uh, researched and developed, and then they're just better. The palace also has guards, but yeah, generally it's uh, it's better to rely on the guardhouse guards to defend most of your settlement. But usually, stuff that's right outside the palace gates will still be defended. So and upgrade weapons. It's not really important to upgrade the blacksmith shop super early because before your heroes can go and upgrade their weapons and armor. They actually need to kill stuff and explore and get gold. Building has been upgraded. All right, we're actually going to build ourselves a ranger's guild. Let me drop that right over there by the blacksmith shop. So this particular mission, we're not able to build a wizard's guild or a warrior's guild. So no tanks and no nukes. Oh, that's fun. Reduce is running around. But you can see, the Medusas aren't attacking anything as of yet, and since they're not attacking anything, the palace guards are not coming out. But I do think I need to... well, first of all, let's get our finances sorted. Build an additional marketplace over here. And... some guardhouses. Now, as you develop the city... Ah, uh, we don't have vision, so we can't build over there quite yet. But as you develop your city, it will actually result in things like sewers popping up where giant rats will spawn in. Here we're gonna... Here we're gonna research healing potions so that our heroes will be able to come by the marketplace and buy healing potions to keep themselves alive. Um, also apparently we have a trading post way out here. Uh, Alright. Well, um... That's way too far away and we're way too early. To be able to safely... Uh, that's unfortunate. We've already lost two rogues. They are not the strongest heroes. 
Yep, that one's probably gonna die as well. My gold. That's unfortunate. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. That ranger skill needs to finish. Rangers are a little bit more reliable than rogues. Now there are other buildings that you can get to, for example, unlock spells. One of which is resurrection. Um, my ambition has paid and our peasants keep getting killed trying to build this ranger's guild. <laughs> but yeah, you can see every time the range or the rogue has killed a monster, they have gotten gold, which they can then go and spend to upgrade their weapons and armor. Alright. There's no rush to upgrade the blacksmith shop. Our heroes are not going to have enough gold to get level 3 anything anytime soon. Um, the local blacksmith offers we can go ahead and services. upgrade the marketplaces. The they will generate more gold the, the higher level they get. Which is pretty nice. I Research know. veteran guards at these two. Sovereign, and your marketplace start now serves you better. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves All you right, better. Alright, research market day. Upgrade this one. Your Highness! Yeah, you can see sewer entrance has popped up here, so it will spawn giant rats and ratmen over the course of uh, over the course of you know, the uh, Earth mission quest, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Let's build another guardhouse here, and then upgrade the palace, so we gain access to more buildings, better buildings, whatever. And now we're out of gold, so we have to wait for our tax collector to go around. Oh, he's gonna die. Yep. That's unfortunate. Alright. And as you build some temples and things, you gain the ability to heal your uh, heroes and buff them, and damage enemies. Although I don't know what all is going to be available in this particular quest, it is the tutorial quest. But you can see, we're going through heroes pretty fast. And over here, our towers are fighting some ratmen that came out of the sewers. Good times. Uh, protection ring, once we research it, will allow our heroes to come by and buy a ring of protection. Unfortunately, that requires them to have made some gold. Okay, so now that we've upgraded the palace level 2, we have new buildings including the Elven Bungalow, the Temple to Agrella, which is healers, Temple to... Uh, Dora, Doros, which is monks. Fervus, I don't remember actually. Cultists, okay. Grants temple spell healing, okay. And allows recruitment of warriors of discord at warrior skills, but we can't build warrior skills, so that's whatever. Yep. I join the wild spirit. Okay. So we lost another ranger. Good times. Um, I think I'm going to build a temple to Prom. That'll give us barbarians. Yeah, the edge scrolling is kind of trash. Just because it's windowed. Uh, full screen was problematic. Alright, so Chrome will give us some melee characters. So they'll survive a little bit better. Yeah, 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 I know. We're out of gold. We're perpetually out of gold. But it's fine. It's fine. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. I mean, definitely as we get the guardhouses built, as we get the new guilds built and get more uh, get more heroes, get stronger heroes. We should be able to not hemorrhage so much gold, but I'm out of here. For now. Oh, also, yeah, just as this rogue demonstrated, whenever they feel like it. The heroes will just run away from a fight. <laughs> the the guards are kind of dumb. They will only fight things that are in a particular vicinity. So An unwelcome guest. Yeah. <laughs> this uh this thing's just going around killing all our peasants while 
our handful of heroes to try to stop them. Caravan's coming through. As long as it doesn't get destroyed, it will deliver gold to the marketplace. And it will give more gold based on how far away the trading post is. Tax collectors, you can also select them. Set up a minimum amount, so they'll only go by a building that has the minimum amount available to pick up. And then you can set a minimum return. A building has been so upgraded. we'll make him the, you know, the higher budget guy that picks up the bigger building stuff. And then the other tax collector will just have set to 52. So, yeah. And then upgrade the marketplace, get some more economy going. The Rogues Guild can also poison heroes' weapons if they come by and pay the Rogues Guild. And they also have the ability to extort for you, which immediately collects all available taxes, but you have to pay them a cut. Which I believe is 30% until it upgrades to level 2, then I think it's like 20%. Alright. Barbarian time. This should be fun. And yeah, protection rings have to be researched to get tier 3 marketplaces. Cool. So, here's barbarians. Barbarians usually go looking for trouble pretty quickly. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. This troll is just kind of wandering around, completely ignored. <laughs> and barbarian died instantly to a zombie. Wonderful. Now they do level up, and as they get higher level, they do get more health. They do get better stats. So. As they level up, you don't have to worry about losing them as much, and as they get higher level across the board, you generally end up not hemorrhaging finances nearly as quickly. Alright, so... This is the last Barbarian, as long as none of them die before... Your Majesty, the Royal Treasury is near I definitely need to upgrade the marketplaces. Oops, accidentally put a flag. Um, but yeah, the flags, that's how you quote, control your heroes, you just bribe them. You you flat out bribe them. You go, hey, explore here, or hey, kill this. Now, you can also use it to give a, for example, higher level hero a bonus to go buy better gear with. Uh, specifically, and Blacksmith will also generate more gold once you upgrade it, but specifically, if there's a high level whatever, and they're already fighting something, you can put a couple hundred gold on whatever they're already fighting. Ah, uh, no. Yes, go rest. That thing almost one-shot him. <laughs> the, the barbarian that was in the top right corner. And over on the left here, there's like these screens that you can set to different things to just keep an eye on different structures. I don't know how to use them. I used to back when I was younger, but uh, I do not recall how to set a building or whatever. Ah, I'm out of here. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. I guess that's okay. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, so we've got rogues. One of one of our rangers has survived thus far. Could use some more of those. Um, we've lost a barbarian somewhere. That's fine. Um, guardhouse fully upgraded. Guardhouse fully upgraded. Guardhouse veteran guard. Guardhouse fully upgraded. All right, those four guardhouses should be okay. But we definitely need something better. And by the way, by, by picking the Temple of Krom, Krom, we have uh, prevented ourselves from building... Does that actually say? No, it doesn't. Um, but it's, it prevented us from building the Healer's Guild. It prevented us from building the Cultist Guild. 
And once we can upgrade, we need... Wow, okay. So, I'm playing with a window. Yeah, I have to actually look at my OBS recording to see what's at the bottom of the screen. So it says, you only have 8 heroes of 12 needed. So that means we need to build another guild. I do not remember what you need for dwarves, but I would definitely prefer to have dwarves than uh, elves. Since I have rangers and rogues, and elves are also a ranged character. So hopefully it's blacksmith level 2 I need, maybe? It's about to be finished, so we'll see. Nope, okay. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think of what the dwarves need, and I don't remember off the top of my head. Hey, we lost another barbarian somewhere. Cool. Level 3 weapons, recruit some more rangers. Yeah. Economy. All the economy. We could actually probably benefit from building another marketplace. No, not an inn, a marketplace. Now, you can't build them too close together means we're going to have to actually go somewhere like up here. But that's fine. It's still close the enough that the guard, the, the guard houses there should absolutely defend it. It might be blacksmith level 3 that you need for dwarves. I think it's blacksmith though. Also, as, uh, as we go, as we build more buildings, houses pop up. And they do generate gold. You can set whether or not to pick up the gold one time or always. So, oh yeah, rogues also steal from houses and things. Majesty, Good times. A local blacksmith offers new services. All right. A new building is okay. Blacksmith leveled up again. Healing potion. All right. So this tax collector's got a thousand gold. He should be dropping it off either at a guardhouse or a uh, castle pretty quickly. Robin, your All right. Research market day. Upgrade the marketplace as soon as we can. Just to get more economy going. There we go. Warm and settlement. So we need 1187. Absolutely. Dwarves are pretty tanky. They have hammers. They can help build things. And I, I don't think you can have dwarves and elves and gnomes. I think you have to pick one, just like with the guilds of uh, the different religions. Unless I'm mistaken, which I could be. Yeah, no, no, there it is at the bottom. It requires a level 2 or 3 palace, a blacksmith level 3, and no elf or dwarf or gnome settlements. But that's fine. Also, fun fact, the dwarven settlement has turrets built into it. In addition to that, it allows you to build... Oh, looks like our heroes are actually claiming the bell. <laughs> without us telling them to. Pretty nice. Love it when things work out. Alright, so recruit a couple more rangers. Somehow, the rogues have all been surviving. Probably because they run away faster than any other hero. Barbarians are just dumb. They'll, uh... <laughs> they'll sit and fight to the death with absolutely no awareness or regard for their own safety. I but... join the wild spirits. Yeah. If I had built the, uh... Temple to whatever... A, a gorilla, I think, or something like that... It would've, uh... It would've allowed me to cast heal. So I could have watched higher level characters and uh, you know, healed them as they got low. But I'm doing a very hands-off kind of quest here. It's again, it's the tutorial, so it's not hard by any stretch of the imagination. And start another dwarf. Also, dwarves. The dwarven settlement allows you to build ballista towers. They do not have guards attached to them. But they are always 950. Unlike every other building in the game, where the more you build, the more expensive the next one gets. Yeah, Ballista Towers, you can just build an unlimited number for 950. Go ahead and upgrade research level 4 weapons in case some of my rogues actually have enough, uh, 
enough gold to pick them up. Recruit another dwarf. Uh, the dwarves, elves, and gnomes, you can only get three per, four, uh, per, per settlement. The gnomes, though, do pop out, like, additional... When you build one gnomish settlement, they all move in. So you end up with three. <laughs> and you only have to pay for the first one, so... It works. It's pretty alright. The local blacksmith offers new services. Alright, research protection rings. Alright. Barbarian getting some levels, level six. Pretty good. And we can level up to a level three palace. Which should allow us to build the Temple to Solaris. Or something. I forget exactly what it's called. But, uh, yeah. Very solid, well-rounded, tanky, and high-damage units. So, just good times. Uh, teleportation amulets, I don't really like researching until, like, very late, because... Yeah, sometimes your heroes will go and buy a teleportation amulet instead of better armor. <laughs> or better weapon. So, uh... It can definitely, it can definitely get a little bit much. Upgrade that to level three. And I think we're actually going to build a small little outpost down here. Trading post. Uh, a sovereign. A building has been upgraded. Couple ballista towers. And and so if any of our heroes happen to make their way down here, there's a little safe haven for them to run and hide. Uh, at an inn or at their guild, they can rest and recover health if they're injured. So having inns kind of scattered around helps keep them safer. Instead of, you know, having to walk all the way back to your primary settlement and possibly getting ambushed on the way. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we are not able to build the highest level guilds, the temple to whatever or whatever, to build the tier 3 heroes. That's fine, though. Uh, fairgrounds are kind of cool. They, they generate gold. No, not that. That. They generate gold, but they also let you set up uh, set up tournaments, which allow your heroes to train. Basically, it basically lets you uh, train your heroes, get them a little bit of upgrade. Royal Garden is nice because it lets them meditate to get a buff, and also generate some pretty good revenue. And then naturally, since we did that. We can put in Ballista Tower, Ballista Tower. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Toss in a guardhouse as well. And another Ballista Tower. Alright. So now once the peasants get done building our little outpost, which it looks like they have, we'll go ahead and research healing potions at the two trading posts as well. And then start building... I mean, honestly, at this point, we're good. Just, uh, your trading post thousand gold. You can see one hero responding. Your trading now, post two thousand now gold reward. Potions. There's four heroes and counting. Five heroes. What a so reward. that'll bring in hopefully enough people to take it down quite quickly. A new building is complete. I honestly haven't even been paying attention to what my heroes have been doing, so I don't know if I actually have the other two or not. But, uh, yeah. I know we got one of them. I happened to, you know, see it while they picked it up. One of the heroes grabbed uh, one of the key items that we're supposed to be getting. But, uh, yeah. We might just outright win the quest after we destroy this ruined altar and one of the heroes picks up the thing in it. But yeah, this this is majesty. This is the entire 
premise of the game. Uh, different quests will have different objectives, will have different buildings that you're allowed to build, not allowed to build, etc. Yep, there we go. We are victorious. The bell, book, and candle are back in their rightful place. We also found the thief who stole them from the castle. A rogue identified as Cherik of Keldern. Unfortunately, he escaped while being returned to the castle. With a 15,000 gold piece reward on his head, I'm sure he'll think long and hard before returning to our kingdom. And the, the voice acting is like totally Tremors slash Starship Trooper quality of so bad it's good. At least in my opinion. But yeah, you can continue playing if you just want to, you know, freely build some more with that rule set for that quest. There's not really much purpose to it. But when we head back to the main menu, you can go back to here. And you can see we've got stars on each one that I've completed, along with the best time. So we completed that in 19 days in game time, versus the Vengeance of the Lich King, which took me 59 days in game time. So it was over an hour. Uh, likely not gonna post the video, because... Yeah, uh, I don't know. I I'll look at it. If it's if it's legible, cool, but odds are, like, just based on whenever I was editing it, I was like, oh man, anyone watching this on their phone will not be able to tell anything that's going on, but I have to finish waiting for it to upload to YouTube before I can see what it looks like in the YouTube browser to see whether or not that one is worth uploading. Regardless, this one's definitely going up, so if this is the Sunday episode, cool. If it's the Saturday episode, I'll probably play another for tomorrow, because I really do enjoy this game. But for now, that's been Majesty. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.